<laughs> well, welcome on and all to Bike Racing Without Mercy. Jake, how's it going? Catman, Sean, Purple Cow, Phil Rich, good to see you. Brad Walden, no, I didn't buy um, the Rube bike. I've got two, Jane wouldn't let me have another one. Uh, two bikes. Um, Alison, really good to see you. Uh, Catman, I think I already said. Um, Nick Brownville, how's it going? How's the knee? Are you laying off the running a little bit? Good to see you. Simon Brown, 66, 60-30s, horrendous. Gunner, thank you very much for joining. Hey Chris, you all right? Titanium Ben, Benjamin Pitt. Sorry I haven't seen your streams recently, been super busy on holiday and with the kids, that kind of stuff, but we're getting back into it. Check out Titanium Ben YouTube. Jason, very good to see you. Ride strong, I will do, Alison. Hey Lee, the level of concern is starting to rise ahead of the Fred Witten. Whew. Dean Dingle, good to see you. How's the football, sir? You're right, Ian. Beautiful, yeah, rainy in Northern Ireland. It's gonna be very rainy here in the UK too. Paul, very good to see you as well. Um, I'm not sure what bike is best. I'm just going with the concept. Probably not the concept if I've picked it. Hey, Carl. Raymond Senior, very nice to see you. Katie, how are you? Good to have you on board. Now, Gary Murray from Pixels and Watts. Gary is a subscriber to the channel. He was very, very kind and he sent me this beautiful poster of the epic KOM. And when I've moved house, not sure where we're going yet, I should be getting a couple more, maybe a few more, to adorn whatever my new pain cave is. So thank you very much, Gary. And the link to Pixels and Watts is in the description below. I'm just helping him out. He gave me that for free, but certainly no commission earned here. Help Gary out, make your pain cave look good ahead of the autumn and winter and the WTRL season. Really look props beautifully. All kinds of different colours, that kind of thing, in conjunction, partnership with VeloViewer. Hey John, thank you very much. I don't know if enjoy is the word, it's got Titan's Grove in it. Sean, thank you very much. Poor weather in Yorkshire, it's gonna be very poor here too. Oh. <laughs> Join the B group, yeah, definitely gonna. That's probably where I'm gonna end up. Maybe even the seas, we'll see today. Still feeling a bit tired. Now I'm gonna stick with the, um, the, Conag uh, the concept, not the Conago, Catman, you're right, the dogma's probably better. Now, what time is it? Oh, I need to join the race. Right. Oh, that, why is it not letting me into the race? Hang on a second. Sorry, crisis. I definitely entered it. This is I'm going. Let me quickly end the ride. Oh, dear me. Sorry, we back up in a second. All you'll see is me for just a second. Last minute tinkering. Oh. So if I go to ride, please, please, Lords of Zwift, God of Zwift, give me entry to the race. That's all I ask of you. This is potentially my last, oh, here we go. Join event. The level of concern is now sinking back down, albeit Titan's Grove is the reward for this technical, go on, in we go. For this technical save. I think it wouldn't be, well, I think it wouldn't be, a, hi Philip, how are you, good to see you. I don't think it would be appropriate for anything less than the complete cluster of a live stream for potentially my last one here. We've sold the flat, um, we move out, but we've got a bit of time away um, on a little trip. Potentially I might have one more live stream I'll see how I feel after that trip. There's a fair bit of riding involved. Who else is in the race? Um, I'm not sure, um, Ben. Uh, I'm not sure who's in the race. I haven't looked, my apologies. Does anybody like Titan's Grave? I'm not sure. Actually, Catman does. Catman loves Titan's Grave. Jerome, good to see you. Catman is an aficionado of Titan's Grove. We discussed this earlier. So last weekend, 
it was the Exmoor Hardest 100. And I gotta say, I was feeling very, oh, Ian too. There we go. Purple Cow's with me, so there's a lot. There's a lot that don't like Titans. Now the Exmoor Hardest 100, that's proper difficult. Um, I went a bit too hard in the first third. Katie doesn't mind it either. Um, but we got round in a decent time, Paul Hamlet and I. The video is in edit, it'll take a little while yet. We've got a beautiful video out on Sunday. It's um, one of the uh, Lake District ones with Mr. Lee Baxter in a build up, obviously, to um, the Fred Witten. We take on Honister and my favourite, I think my favourite of all the climbs, Newlands Pass, where Lee set an infernal pace. And it's really pretty, very atmospheric, rainy and moody. Lake District looks amazing. Lee was his usual super strong self. We also hit Winlatter. It's a proper test, you're right. It is in. So I'm feeling a bit jaded. The Grove is okay, cheers Paul. Nice one Purple Cow, so you're joining us, beautiful. You're gonna to go to a before the hour. What's your new setup? Tell us about that if you've got time. I am quite nervous here, because uh, I've only been on a bike once, it didn't go too well, I was on the rollers. Hey Marco, good to see you. Um, I was on the rollers and I got a bit of a, a lump. I think it's one of those saddle sores from, um, is it, am I oversharing? I think I'm probably oversharing, but it hurts. Um, so we'll see how I go. It's gone down quite, quite a lot. I've had about five days off the bike the last week. Maybe six. Here we go. Thank you, Andrew, I appreciate that. I'm gonna try and pace things half reasonably. People go off like a bat out of hell here at the front. I'm not powerful enough for that. I wanna have two good climbs. But this is okay. Laptop on a cardboard box. Yeah, my laptop is currently on a um, a box that contained a Hexar helmet. Hey Jordi, or Jordi, good to see you. In the bedroom with no fan. <laughs> hey Lee, how are you? Thank you for joining. Yeah, so the saddle sore things, first one I've had, and it hurts. I use a chamois cream, I've had a bike fit, so I'm not sure what else to do. Please be civilized over here. Please. Thank you, Steve, I appreciate that. How's Australia? Marco, good to see you. Thank you very much, Dave, I appreciate that. Well, I've been in worse at the start of Titans Grove. Yes, you're right, Ben. That's a very good way of looking at it. An investment analogy. Morning, Oliver, how are you? I've got the trainer difficulty at 75%. Yeah, indoor riding, 96K, we'll do that, John. Morning, David, how are you? Thank you for joining. Titans Grove, pixels and watts for the beautiful posters. Gary Murray, member of the community. It's his side hustle. And given that it's pain cave season, in about a couple of months, time to start thinking about how to upgrade.
Fam, fam, fam. How's it going, sir? You found some bomber mall rhubarb and strawberry jam. You hero, what do you think to it? Yeah, it's hard to find over here. It's great though, isn't it? I love a bit of rhubarb and strawberry jam. I have to get my mum to order it. Sainsbury's is the trick. We have a Tesco near us. No Sainsbury's. Well, we got a small Sainsbury's, but it doesn't stock it. Thanks for the heads up on that car. Is that right, Philip? What took time? It was the outdoor riding that did it for me. The X my hardest hundred. Okay, well report back, found, found, found. Triple F. Someone's three seconds up the road, is that right? I'm not chasing. <laughs> you said it, Marco. Relentless. It isn't as bad on trainer difficulty 75%. It was the 100 that made it help. Also, people aren't going as hard as say in the winter. He said as he got dropped on the KOM. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave him be bed, don't you worry. I don't have the power, the mental fortitude, or the desire to catch them. Ha, Tony, top cat, how are you, sir? Quatch Quest. How's the hill climb training? Morning, Jonathan, how are you? Very good to see you. Tony, I'm thinking about doing Bank Road and Ryber on the hill climb. 24th of October. Are you doing it? It's Tony's local. Or one of them. Pixels and Watts, put a beautiful posters. Gary Murray, member of the community. His side hustle. Yeah, that's right, Lee. But first, the epic. Dear me. Nice one, Top Cat. It's where they let me in. I don't know if I'm good enough. They have to see how good you are. 
Dear me. God's country, sure is, Oliver. Sure is. Cycling, paradise. Hill climbers, paradise. Oh, heaven, I think the video was. Oh. Well, that was an opener. Cheers, Ben. Well, I think that's the worst of Titan's Grove. Albeit, I can get dropped anywhere, especially the descent. Now there's no radio tower today. Hey John. How's it going, sir? You are right. So no radio tower today, which is nice, but there is the Alp. And it comes quite close to the radio tower. Ah, Giorgio, how's it going? I haven't seen your latest race video. Check out Giorgio Capella cycling on YouTube. He's very funny. Strength, cross, mountain biking, road racing. He's jack of all trades and master of all. Some really nice gravel as well on the South Downs Highway. Beautiful Georgia. How Sarah? Spirits are high. We've got through Titan's Grave nearly. Cornflakes and sugar have been ingested. I've got an emergency Coke, 60 grams of carbs in the bottle, and a little treat. It's one of those guava bars. That's for the top of the epic. Yeah, you pick out all the burnout riders on the epic. Yeah, I'm hoping that isn't going to be me today, Catman. Morning, GT. How's work today, sir? Two beautiful rides yesterday. Can people let me know what they think of my little shorts? I'm not using them to replace the main content. Just experimenting. <coughs> I know I'm not buying a Roubaix bike, FYI. It was just there when I was picking up the video for a service. We will see how I'm doing in about 15 minutes, Graham. Trying to avoid burning myself out on the epic. My bib shorts are okay, are they? <coughs> Oh dear. Looks like we get some good weather next week. So what are people are going to be doing? Out and about? 
sly, half day off work, that kind of thing, make the most of it, or has anyone lucked out and booked a holiday starting on Monday? What's the substitutions? Tell me about that, Yordi. I'm not quite sure what the substitutions are. Could you activate the substitutions? Ah, the, sub the subtitles. Oh, I see. So you can activate subtitles. I thought that YouTube would do that automatically. Let me look into that. Thank you for the heads up. Jane, Jane, we need to activate subtitles. Lake District or in the peaks. Well, Oliver, that's what I call a flex. That is a beautiful flex on the nation. A multitude of riches to pick from. You're on holiday in the Lake District currently, Giorgio, Giorgio. My pleasure. Road race tomorrow. Nice one, Ian. What are you doing? So yeah, so you're gonna be out in the peaks, Phil. It's a sauna where you are, Purple Cow. Remind me where you are again. Oh, we're on the Epic. That came around fast. Well, that sounds good, Ian. me. Nice one, Gunner. Hey, John. You are right.
Nej. Hey, come in. You all right? Cheers, Scott. Hey, Stephen, how's it going? I'm in trouble. Cheers, Philip. Try my best. Hey, Agnes, you're right. Cheers, TC. Yeah, about five days after bite, Lee. This is Lee Baxter Cadence. Starting to find my rhythm. A nice one across, K hey, Ross. Good to have you on board. Rebel cow, give me a toe.
Thank you, John. Appreciate your reminder. Yeah, please hit like and subscribe. Here on the Epic, Gary Murray, Gary Murray, Pixels and Watts, beautiful posters. Check out his website, link in the description. It's a side hustle, perfect for your pain case. Here on the Epic, advertising the Epic. Cheers, purple cow, that's helpful. Yeah, the vent top. There is a vent top. But don't throw darts in here. Did you live stream up there recently, Ben? I had to cancel my Von 2 trip because of moving house. So that's going to be 2022 now. Hi Alan, how are you? Chain breaker, you are right? I'm about four and a half watts a kilogram. But struggling a bit today. Nice one, Jerome. That'll be epic. I'm really looking forward to getting out there. But 2022, it will be. We're finding it quite stressful with how that house move. And I've got Fred Witten and one other event, a bonus event. More to come. Cheers, Sean. Hey, Cycling CB. Bit of a struggle today, mate. Thank you, Jerome. Video's in the edit. It was indeed stunning. Nice one, Oliver. Yeah, be good to meet up. Are you marshalling or taking part?
the Friends of Charity, by the way, for those that don't know. Fred Whitten. Yeah, not quite sure where we're moving yet, Sean. We just got it solved, but we're trying to find an Airbnb to go to, and then temporarily to one of Jane's flats. Nice one, Scott. Yeah, I thought about doing that too. It looks amazing. Marshany, well let me know where you are and we'll stop and say hi. That'd be lovely, Ben. Two kids to get for university, you know? Thank you very much, Gunnar. No, I can't attack yet. Long way to go. I'm not feeling great. We need the numbers for the jungle too. Crikey, come on, bye. Yeah, that was a cadence, man. Um, when we've got the new place, Sean, I'm gonna order it off. It's the line of sight to the new place. They're 40, 40 kilograms to, to lump around. We're definitely getting one. Yeah, Lee backs the cadence.
struggling here. Give me a second. Film me in a sec. Yeah, film me coming over the epic. Now, just there. Side button. Get that as well. Interesting, the epic in potentially my last live stream from this flat. Maybe one more. Pixels and Watts, thank you ever so much for the beautiful poster of the epic KOM. www.pixelsandwatts.com. Get them for your pain cave. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And please do subscribe, it really helps the channel. Hey Ruben, you alright? You alright Rudy? Good to see you. Oh. Cheers. Adakan, how's it going in Turkey, sir? You alright? Yeah, sure did, Guru. Purple cow. It's hard. Right. Guava bar. Cheers, Rui. Oh. Yeah, they're really lovely, aren't they? I'm definitely going to get a few for the pain case, Sean. As I say, it's Gary's side hustle. He's not yet making a profit from her. But they're so beautiful. And an official partnership with Elevure. So, really nice idea, I thought. He gave me that one for free, just a full disclosure. Well, you're, you're riding strong, Purple Cow. So let's see how you go. They also come in a white background with black. Both look great. Right. Dear me. Trying to recuperate now. Debating whether to have, yes, I'm gonna have the emergency coat. All the fuzz, yeah. Boys. 
Maybe Anne tested. it. That's gone down the wrong way. Well, two of the trials done, one to go. Looking for an Ed Laverack ramp of power. And if you're thinking about doing a hill climbing season, Ed's got his back pedal training program for the hill climb season. And I think he's got 20 or 30% off. Get fast, climb fast. Nice one, Bob. You just joined his program. Beautiful. But thanks for joining the chat too. Really good to see you. Spinning the legs. <laughs> Moving closer to the bike park. Nah. I was saying in the last live chat I did, I'd like to get a little farm, a small one, and play at farming. Jane won't have it, <laughs> understandably. Inspired by Jeremy Clarkson. Or, to Ben's point, a little place in the countryside and hire out some bikes and do some nice riding. But, a couple of years away from that in all honesty. No idea yet, Grim. Um, we have to move to an Airbnb and then a flat that Jane rents out when it comes available, and then we'll figure out where to go. Jane and I are still debating. We... I needed a change from central London, which won't come immediately. And it's quite hard to sell flats in central London because you've got I mean, this is a good flat. Um, and we've got all the fire safety stuff after Grenfell, fully bottomed out. But it, people spend a long time asking a lot of questions. And we had it full through just before our exchange with the buyer at the end of March, early April. And we just went through the whole process again. But now it's exchanged. It's a lovely flat. New owner's gonna love it. but. I'm ready to grow up a little bit. And we'd like something a bit more easier to get to family in the north or get onto the motorways to go out riding in the peaks, the lakes, the west country, rather than a one hour slog from central London to the exterior of London. When we went to the Peak District, was it the Peak District? No. When we went to um, Yorkshire, for the Struggle Dales, it took us three hours to get from here to Stratford. And then you start the journey north. Yeah, I'm talking about the farm again, Jane. It's coming. I'm gonna start, now we've exchanged, I'm gonna start searching on the internet. Little farm with combine harvester. for financial services, city-based idiot to break. I definitely couldn't have stayed with that front group. Hey Paul, sorry, I only just saw you there, and George. Um, Ed's got a specific hill climb plan. Um, so if you think if you go to the backpedal.cc website, there's all the different training plans there and you can just select one. <laughs> yeah, she did, she did. But I would buy her some Wellington boots. So she could just walk straight through it, Steve, you see? I'm one step ahead of you. Yeah, a new combine harvester. 
and a little tractor, like a little combine harvester, a little tractor, a little plow, and a nice trailer, and then starting to plant the seeds. I think a muck spreader, I think that's me done. And I grow wheat to make my own bread. And there would be a big gym and cycling training area as well. Here. Yeah. Jane? Jane? Are you taking notes? If only William made tractors. <laughs> I, th I think there is some explanation about what they entail. But if you drop Ed and Scott a DM on Instagram, like Comhunt or Backpedal, drop backpedal.cc a DM on Instagram and they'll reach out and tell you. But they all get downloaded into your training peaks file. A layer of soil to your vegetable patch. What happened there? My dad used to make me take his little tractor for mowing the lawn, which had a trailer to the local stables to get horse manure to stick on his flower beds. I used to hate that. Are you taking notes, Jane? There we go, the legs are all right. Here's some cadence for you there, Titanium Ben. Check out Titanium Ben on YouTube. Proper powerful rider. WTRL season coming up. You can see what the front end of a race looks like. Yeah, Oliver. Je Oliver's got a good idea, Jane. Make a note. High cadence is key. Yeah, tumbleweed. What was that, Jane? My one experience of something farm-like. No, that wasn't farm-like. That was growing flowers. I'd have a little muck spreader. I suppose I've got to get the stuff into the muck spreader. Yeah, good point. Imagine that, grinding your own wheat from the power from your turbo trainers, the wheat that you grew, and then selling it as a post-ride treat with rhubarb and strawberry jam found, 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 to replenish the glycogen stores. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, good idea that, wasn't it, Grim? Environmentally friendly as well. Another box ticked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the lightweight granite. <laughs> the light great, the lightweight granite millstone wheel. Genius. What do you reckon the weather's going to be like in mid-September, Lee, for the Fred? I'm enjoying this respite before we hit the main course.
Snow drift. <laughs> Snow drift. Well, you can find me at my Airbnb then. <laughs> Wet. Yeah, Grim. I reckon. I'd have my garber. It rained for about the first two hours of the Exmoor. So I really only got the film from um, Dunkery. Scott from Comhan TV did some really beautiful drone shots as well. Check out Comhan TV tonight. Sorry, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Scott's having a lot of success with the shorts on his shorts channel as well, like a lot. Really interesting concept. He's quite visionary in um, deciding to do that. Oh look, we've got a little gaggle of us now. Very different kind of content, but I reckon I might use some shorts just to show little snippets of what I get up to in a week that don't make the vlog, or something interesting that doesn't really fit with the vlog. Let me know if that sounds amenable. More carbs. The good life, yes! The good life, I love the good life. Penelope, um, what's you called? You got Felicity. Bar oh. Is it Barbara Windsor? No, Barbara Windsor. Barbara from the good life. What was Barbara from the good life called? Mar no, Margot. I love Margot. And Jerry. Jerry, Jerry, really Jerry. Banker buys new tie in German Street. I have indeed bought some ties there before. Found, found, found. But at Silicon Valley Bank, they don't approve of the tie. I once was wearing a suit and tie to go and see a client that kind of likes suit and tie. And the American head of the bank was over. He goes, Philip, what are you doing in a suit and tie? You're letting the side down in an American accent. Felicity Kendall. Yeah, it's Felicity Kendall. Yeah, Margot was a snotty one. I like Margot. Um, Penelope Keefe, I think it is. She is. It is, it is. How rude of me. Penelope. Because I also loved her into the manner born. Definitely one of my all-time favourite UK TV shows. If you haven't seen To The Manor Born, it's magnificent. Hey Ben, you right? I don't have a drone. But yeah, for the out, not necessarily outtakes. I think outtakes suits Chris Pritchard's show. But for little, bit like the Roubaix bike I put up there. Definitely not buying one, I don't want another bike. But I thought it was really interesting. Right, calm yourself down. <laughs> yeah. I have nearly done that. Found, found, found. You are a man of intellect and culture. I respect that, sir. Um, what that young? I'm 46, seeing 47. But yeah, I mean, um, my mum and grandparents watched it, so I guess I did too. It was the 80s, wasn't it? The 80s. Not like it was in the 80s. All right. Just gonna concentrate, find my rhythm. I'm not gonna burn myself out. Step turn, turn. I wasn't so fond of that one, Grim. 
but iconic for sure. Hi Philip, you like my Jerry impression? Cheers. Yeah, that was superb, wasn't it, Matt? Ah, uh, yes, yes, you are quite correct. Found, found, found. And many a good humour has come from it. I'm just going to concentrate here. Cheers, Marco. I've not seen that one. Ian. DB, you right? One last descent of the Alp. I'm in training. Oh, want to check out? Cheers, Ian. Here we go. Running speed. We will see, DB. We will see.
Yeah, inflation is on the rise. Not the best time to have sold your flat and have a load of cash. Not much talking now, I'm afraid. Morning, Michael, you right? Titans Grove, Epic KIM, Jungle, now the Alp. Come on, purple cow. Take your ass. Yeah. 
Yeah, Michael. The low weight definitely helps. You're saying on a flat though. Trying to find my cadence here. Hey Phil, thank you. What by giving the money back to your ass and tea, Phil? Cheers Lee, thank you. Happy birthday sir. Yeah, trying to do that.
Yeah, that's right, Marco. Cheers, Lord. Hi, Sheldon. Hi, Patrick. Hey, Dad, you alright? Nice to meet you, Michael. Yeah, WTRL. Sign up for back pedal for the racing season.
Go, David. I said to Tony, what about, what's that?
Cheers, Neil. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, please.
If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That was full gas. Proper emotional. <laughs> ah, stay here a sec. Let me spin the legs. Oh dear me. Did I get sixth? Or fourth? Or fifth, sorry, fifth, sorry. I can't. I know I got 4.2 watts a kilogram. I didn't take in the position. Yeah, my best is 43.19, but you know, that's without Quartz Crest, Epic and um, Titans Grave. So that's proper quick for me, like proper quick. All right, I'm super happy with fifth. Thank you, Marco. Dear me. Purple Cow, thank you ever so much for pacing me beautifully up the KOM, the Epic KOM, and also through the jungle. Made a massive difference. I saved a lot of energy, appreciate that. Poor. Oh. God, I'm super pleased with that. I mean, that was um, proper emotional. I definitely deserve a little farm for that, don't I, Jane? Apparently not. Apparently not. Not even a small farm. We just say three fields. Three fields. And maybe an aviary. I'd like to keep some birds. And a lightweight carbon grain millstone powered by what bikes? <laughs> no, I won't bother her. It's, she's actually super stressed about the move. Oh dear me. So let's have a quick look. So I just piece myself back together. Have a little chat in a second. Just giving Agnes a thumbs up. Right. So, that was a nice way, if that is my last whiff race from flat, uh, from, from, uh, from oh, take two. If that is my last whiff race from this flat, I think that's a nice way to sign off. 
Yeah, I've earned an allotment. Thank you very much, fam, fam, fam. My dad used to have an allotment. That may be quite nice, actually. Just a potter with an allotment. And Gary Murray, thank you once again for gifting me this beautiful poster. The epic KOM, the Ford. I think everybody's got a soft spot for that. Also, Ben Top. There's also, um, obviously, the Alp, which I'll be getting to adorn my own pain cave when I eventually I find somewhere to land. But check out um, Pixels and Watts. P-I-X-E-L-S and A-N-D Watts. Um, the link's in the description to the video. But some really beautiful pictures to adorn our pain caves ahead of the Zwift season. Now Lord DeLego is recruiting right now for the WTRL season. Backpedal will have a number of A teams, B teams and C teams. So if you fancy getting involved, you don't fancy racing every single week, um, join a team because people rotate through the teams, take it in turns, fit it in amongst your schedule. It was a huge amount of fun. And I've got to say, it wasn't so much the racing, it was the teamwork that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. I mean, we still chat very regularly through, um, obviously, um, Strava. Um, and obviously on the Discord, there's tons of chat for each of the teams. And actually, I found it an amazing way to feel connected with people. Part of the reason we're moving from London, uh, central London eventually, is that I feel a bit disconnected from friends who are living in the, you know, sort of the Hertfordshire area or the West Country and family who are in the North, uh, not the North, uh, Hertfordshire and Jane's family in the West. It's hard work getting in and out of London to see him and so part of the reason I'm moving is to feel more connected but the WTRL gave me an amazing sense of well-being, uh, mental well-being, fun and camaraderie and teamwork. It was the Discord chat, the chat on the Discord when you're racing, the banter on Strava, all this kind of stuff, and it continues afterwards. So even if you're worried about getting dropped, a la me, a masterclass in getting dropped, or you're just not sure whether you want to race, give it a go. You know, you know no one minds if you're not kind of, um, you know, doing amazingly. I mean, I didn't score hardly any points for our team. Um, so give it a good go. I mean, Titanium Ben, he'll be live streaming a lot of it as well. You'll be able to see um, what the sharp end of a race looks like. And the same, you know, some of our strong riders like Ruben, if he's live streaming, you'll see the front end there. Rainham, you ought to get live streaming as well. So check it out, sign up. Um, Lord, put where you've got to sign up um, in the, the, the live chat there. Um, and David and Phil, Phil Rich, David Rainham, and Tony Topcat. Yeah, I was saying, um, after Tony described the Matlock, when we went to Matlock Top 10, check out Hill Climber Heaven, beautiful video with Tony Topcat and David Freight Train um, in the Peak District, Top 10 Climbs in Matlock. When we were riding along, Tony said after we'd done Ryber Hill, uh, the climb to Ryber Castle, which I nearly burned out and I very nearly got off the bike, Tony said, oh yeah, we do this climb um, the morning and then we do Bank Road in the afternoon. And I've been mulling it over and I think, actually, I'm up for a bit of that. A bit of Ryber in the morning, Bank Road um, in the afternoon. So get involved. If you fancy signing up, I mean, I'm not guaranteed entry. I don't think anybody is, but um, cycling time trial, sign up. And if you get in, get in. And uh, maybe see a few of you there, because I think it'd be really good. And obviously, Phil Rich, David Rainham, it's your local. Carl, maybe you can deploy some big power as well. Rainham Senior, and uh, we check out uh, the Bank Road climb and Ryber, Ryber Hill. And Ryber Hill is Ryber Hill is just disgusting. Um, save some power for the final third. You won't regret it. Anyway, I digress. Um, so this weekend on a Sunday, Jane has just finished a beautiful edit of a ride I did with Lee Baxter up in the Lake District. We kept it on ice because if you put too many. Um, videos out of the same location, people switch off, and it really was an exceptional ride. Beautiful, beautiful day. Moody, misty, rainy, but Lake District was stunning, and Lee plotted an incredible route, and we got some beautiful footage. Lovely day out, and so check that out. Um, it'll be um, dropping tonight, uh, tomorrow. And um, with Paul Hamlet did the um, Exmoor epic. We saw Scott from Command TV and that, at the top of um, Dunkery Beacon. We went up the easy way, thankfully, because the, the, the other way is proper disgusting. Scott did some really nice 
airborne footage with some drones and obviously Paul got some really nice footage once the weather cleaned up a little bit um, of the stunning Exmoor vistas so we're gonna um, put that into edit and we'll probably drop that either next week or the week after we'll see um, about that um, so plenty to come on the channel a few more little adventures are planned not least of which to Fred Witten that's looming ahead of us on the 19th of September Lee Baxter and I are in it I'm gonna see um, Oliver there as well who's marshalling nice one Ollie great for volunteering it's a charity and the event couldn't happen without people like yourself volunteering for it so super grateful to that thank you very much um, so um, that will make quite an emotional video I'm sure I am really worried about getting around that because I've climbed hard not obviously with Lee Lee paced it perfectly um, check out um, Stunning and Savage if you haven't seen that it's a lovely video and it was the first time he filmed with the camera going backwards it was Lee's idea um, but it's one thing to do it relatively fresh quite another I think to do it with 90 miles in legs um, and proceeded at around mile 80 I guess or 75 by um, rhinos and rhinos is horrid and then it gets properly disgusting in, a, in the final third there's some really really steep ramps on that but stunning so I am actually really worried about how I'm going to get around that um, it's no trivial thing i um, got one other little bonus to come um, more, more on that uh, Simon, I know you're not doing it now, Simon. Uh, but you know, you got a little puppy, and that's good. And so, you know, you can't leave the little puppy um, if he won't if he won't let you leave um, the house, let alone train without getting under your pedals. <laughs> that's quite a funny story. Um, I'm rambling now because I am away with the fairies. Um, but I'm soon going to be off to um, oh, persuade Jane to let me get a nice little little farm. Maybe in the Cotswolds or the Peak District, something like that, Jane. I think um, probably couldn't afford one in anyway. But you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, rambling. So plenty to come. Let me know what you think about the shorts. Um, I'm thinking of using the shorts just to do little updates, midweek, that kind of thing. Little easy edits or things that I found interesting or things that I did that aren't going to go into the vlog. Um, obviously, stuff that's in keeping with the channel. Um, and the, 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 um, the specialised Rube, just to be very clear on that, I am not looking to buy a specialised Rube. I was just picking up the Villa and it was there. And I'd never seen a road bike with a suspension before. I, I understand actually Cannondale um, have made one for a number of years. But it looked pretty cool to me. If you're looking to ride the cobbles or something like that, um, may well work. Although I am also advised that may as well just drop the pressure in your tyres and have double tape. On the hand on the hand grips, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, you can confirm, Purple Cow, the WTRL is the most pain you've ever had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it is unrelenting. But don't let that put you off. Find a category that works. No, I, I, I'm buying a matching this anti GTR. Jane, can I have a matching this and GTR to the video? No, it's negative. She's good. That's negative. No, no more room for cars. I may even try and find where the Ferrari is and take that out um, for a ride. And that's the kind of thing I might just put on a short. Some farming content, definitely Andy, Andrew. I was checking out actually, there are some really good farming vlogs. I'm getting quite into a few of them. I can't remember the names right now. But, you know, um, Jeremy Clarkson's farm, I'm sure lots of people go out and buy a farm um, and then don't know what to do with it. You know, a farm is for life, not just for Christmas. Remember that. You're in London on the 3rd of October for the marathon. We will have moved from this flat by then and we'll either be in an Airbnb or potentially in Jane's flat that she currently rents out. So I'll be around um, if you want to give us a shout and I'll come and give you a cheer on um, up around the Tower Bridge area, just before Tower Bridge. If you get onto Tower Bridge, it's rammed. Um, but just before you turn right onto Tower Bridge, um, at the bottom of Shad Thames, there's a really nice um, area which isn't quite as busy. And so, yeah, it's mad to watch. It's really hard to spot people when uh, you're stood by the marathon because they come at, there's just so many, it's like a wave and you almost get drunk on the runners. But it is one amazing thing. And I reckon London, early October is just gonna be epic. If we get a nice crisp autumn day, it will be beautiful. I think London is at its best in um, sort of September, early October, and then the spring. It's um, always so uplifting to be here. Anyway, 
the farming content, now Jane's gone, will be coming, he'll be coming, don't you worry. Maybe a, a year's time or something like that. You like, thank you, Agnes, you like the shorts, appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna uh, sign off. I feel a little bit um, emotional that it could be the last live stream here. Um, I've massively enjoyed live streaming from this flat. I've massively enjoyed all of the, the chat. I mean, I cannot explain how important that has been to me during the lockdown. I've made many friends, some of you I've seen uh, for rides in reality. Many of you I've chatted with, whether it's on Instagram, in the comments, or um, obviously the live chat and Strava. Um, and it, it has been an absolute revelation to me the last two and a half years of cycling community. Definitely the best community one could have ever hoped to find. I'm very grateful um, for it. Very much looking forward to live streaming when I eventually get back to a setup um, over the autumn. Maybe there's one more to come. Um, but if I'm away for a little period of time from the live streaming, you'll know why. Um, it's just taking time to set up the, the, the cave. But I'm definitely going to be back because this kind of stuff means a huge amount to me. I uh, really enjoy it. And I encourage people, just like um, Titanium Ben, Ben Pitt, to you know get their live stream going. Ruben as well, he's got his live stream going. Um, Mick Bickoff. He has a good live stream too. Check it all out. Neil sometimes live streams as well. It, it's, it's not just about um, the power and the winning and all that kind of stuff. It's about sharing the experience. And that's something that we can do virtually um, when we can't meet up across all of Europe, the UK, this kind of thing. So, um, yeah, Marco live streams as well. Cop, sorry, Marco, my apologies. But, well, I, I don't think I've subscribed to you, Marco. What's your, what's your YouTube channel, Marco? Tell us, stick it in there now. Yeah, I mean, Marco got in um, to, you know, he's watching Ed's channel, started checking out mine, and he's become a very, very accomplished rider and wet racer in the WTRL season. You're under Dirks. So check out Dirks YouTube. See, there's loads of places where you can just get involved, have a chat with people, and part, whittle away an hour or so. And it's one of the things I like to do to relax when I have time. Um, it's like, hanging out with a mate, basically. Um, so yeah, anyway, I am now rambling. It's time, time to have a nice spice bun. But thank you all very much, hugely appreciate it. Check out the video on Sunday, really proud of it. Um, it's a beautiful one with Lee, as I say. Plenty more to come, and in the meantime, whoever you are, and whatever you do. Phil, how come you're not? Oh, Phil Rich, yeah, oh, Phil Rich will be streaming again soon. But he's a little bit of work in progress. Um, and Phil Rich's streams, he actually wins. He won a, a dolphin crit race. The powerhouse Rich. Um, anyway, again I digress. Please remember, whoever you are and whatever you do. No. Whoever you are, sorry, I'm getting my own sign off incorrect. Please remember to thrive. Uh, please subscribe. And please, uh, dear me. take 10. Please remember, whoever you are and whatever you do, live, thrive and stay very healthy. Take care. Thank you all. Love you all.